The Bismarck was the pride of the German Navy. 50,000 tons of German steel. Eight 15-inch guns that could penetrate 14 inches of armor at 20,000 yards. Built for 200 million Reichsmarks, enough to construct 400 U-boats. And in its entire combat career, Bismarck sank exactly one enemy warship, HMS Hood. Meanwhile, a single Fletcher-class destroyer, 2,500 tons, costing $11 million, could statistically sink more enemy vessels in six months than most battleships managed in their entire service lives. Let me show you the mathematics of how the smallest surface combatants became the deadliest ship killers in naval history. Here's the brutal mathematics. In World War II, battleships worldwide sank 16 enemy battleships, two carriers, and roughly 40 smaller vessels. Total, approximately 58 confirmed warship kills. American Fletcher-class destroyers alone accounted for over 100 enemy warships destroyed. Add British, Japanese, and German destroyers, and these small ships sank over 400 enemy vessels. The Bismarck cost 200 million Reichsmarks and sank one capital ship. A Fletcher-class destroyer cost one-twentieth of that and averaged 3.2 enemy vessels destroyed. The mathematics are devastating. Battleships achieved 0.3 warship kills per billion dollars spent. Destroyers achieved 12.8 kills per billion. That's 42 times more effective per dollar. But here's what nobody talks about. The torpedo mathematics. The Yamato's 18-inch guns could fire once every 40 seconds. Each shell weighed 3,200 pounds and cost $10,000. Hit probability at 20,000 yards, 0.8%. A Fletcher-class destroyer carried 10 torpedo tubes. Each Mark 15 torpedo cost $8,000 weighed 3,800 pounds, and had a 22% hit rate in night engagements. Here's the dark mathematics. To achieve one hit, Yamato needed to fire 125 shells, costing $1.25 million. A Fletcher needed to launch five torpedoes, costing $40,000. The destroyer was 31 times more cost-effective at putting ordnance on target. Now, let's talk about operational reality. The Iowa-class battleships required crews of 2,700 men. Daily fuel consumption at cruising speed, 300 tons. Food requirements, 8,100 meals per day. Fresh water, 100,000 gallons daily. A Fletcher-class destroyer operated with 329 men. Fuel consumption. 40 tons per day. The mathematics scale brutally. You could operate eight Fletcher destroyers for the same resources as one Iowa battleship. Those eight destroyers could patrol 32,000 square miles of ocean simultaneously. One Iowa could patrol 4,000 square miles. The destroyers provided eight times the coverage at the same cost. The U-boat hunting mathematics tell another story. The Bismarck sortied for nine days in May 1941. It encountered and sank one warship. Fuel consumed 3,600 tons. British destroyers in the North Atlantic averaged one U-boat contact every 12 days of patrol. Hit rate with depth charges, 6%. But here's the critical difference. Destroyers could maintain these patrols for months. HMS Walker spent 180 days at sea in 1943, sinking six U-boats. The mathematics. Bismarck achieved 0.11 kills per patrol day. Atlantic destroyers achieved 0.03 kills per day, but maintained it for six months straight. Total effectiveness. Destroyers sank 300 times more tonnage per year. Let's compare engagement envelopes. The Yamato's main guns had a maximum range of 26 miles. Impressive. But a destroyer's real weapon wasn't guns or even torpedoes. It was persistence. U-boats could dive to 700 feet. 
battleship shells couldn't touch them. Destroyers carried 80 depth charges that could destroy submarines at 600 feet. More critically, destroyers had sonar. Range, 4,000 yards in good conditions. A battleship was blind to submarines beyond visual range. The mathematics were simple. In anti-submarine warfare, one destroyer was worth more than five battleships. But perhaps the most damning statistic comes from convoy battles. Convoy HX-237 crossed the Atlantic with four destroyers as escorts. U-boats attacked 11 times. Ships lost. Zero. Convoy PQ-17 scattered when intelligence reported the Tirpitz might sortie. The destroyers were withdrawn. Result? 24 of 35 merchant ships sunk by U-boats and aircraft. The Tirpitz never even left port. The mere threat of one battleship caused the removal of destroyer escorts, resulting in the convoy's annihilation. The dark mathematics. Battleships destroyed convoys by simply existing, while destroyers saved them by actually fighting. The final darkest truth comes from loss ratios. The Bismarck's destruction required eight battleships and battlecruisers, two carriers, 12 cruisers, and 12 destroyers. Total tonnage hunting one battleship, 400,000 tons. Meanwhile, the German destroyer Z-26 was sunk by two British cruisers in 30 minutes. The mathematics reveal the paradox. It took 400,000 tons of warships to sink 50,000 tons of battleship, but only 20,000 tons to sink 3,600 tons of destroyer. Yet that destroyer, before its loss, had sunk 8,000 tons of enemy shipping. The Bismarck had sunk 48,000 tons. Per ton of warship, destroyers were 3.4 times more effective at sinking enemies. The math is undeniable. The world spent $40 billion on battleships that achieved 58 warship kills. The same money could have built 4,000 Fletcher-class destroyers. Based on historical performance, those destroyers would have sunk 12,800 enemy vessels. The final irony? When the Scharnhorst made its last sortie, it wasn't battleships that found it. It was destroyers using radar. When U-boats threatened to strangle Britain, it wasn't battleships that stopped them. It was destroyers in the mid-Atlantic. The Fletcher-class destroyers proved that naval warfare wasn't about massive guns or thick armor. It was about being everywhere at once, seeing everything, and having enough torpedoes and depth charges to kill whatever you found. The age of the battleship lasted 40 years. The age of the destroyer continues to this day. The mathematics of naval warfare had been rewritten by ships one twentieth the size, costing one twentieth the price, achieving 20 times the results.